Bear Grylls adventure. Yes! <laughs> Who's excited? Five minutes twenty. <laughs> Damn it. Huh? How are you feeling? Tell me. How how are you feeling? I'm pretty clear.
jumping out of a perfectly serviceable plane to some people seems crazy. Go for it, go on, go! There is nothing like the incredible feeling of falling through the sky using your arms and legs like wings to fly. Keep going. Free falling is the ultimate leap of faith. Awesome, good job, you did it. Back from the Bear Grylls adventure at the NEC Birmingham and it was just amazing. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how amazing this place is. It is worth every single penny, trust me. Because I looked on the website before I went and I thought, oh, this is really, really pricey. Is it gonna be worth it? And just, it's well worth it. It is worth every single penny and it's just fantastic if you've got the chance to go please go and experience it you will not regret it it's fantastic so what we did there was a few things that we did so first we went to base camp where we were put into a room we were asked what our fears were two of us including myself said darkness so um that wasn't good for us because we were just thrown into the dark. <laughs> they put these head things over us, these black sacks over our heads so we couldn't see anything and we had to follow this rope through this, um, I don't even know what it was, but we had to follow this rope along this pathway and things were touching us like spiders and things and oh it's horrible and um, oh it's really creepy, it really freaked me out. And I didn't expect any of that. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I just thought we were going to do rock climbing um, and do the assault course. I didn't know we were gonna do all this extra stuff. So I was not prepared. And it was that fear of the unknown. I was so scared. So I had my, we had all had our hands on each other's shoulders and then one hand with the rope just shuffling along with these bags on our heads like, oh my God, please don't touch us, please don't touch us. I was just there like, oh my God, what's this? Oh my God, what's that? Oh my God, something just touched me. <laughs> but it was so dark in there, we couldn't video it. I'm, I'm absolutely gutted we couldn't video it. But do you know what? You have to go and experience it. And then after that, we went into this amazing bit that was set up like a thunderstorm and there was all this rain coming down. So there was actual water pouring down and this like flooding. And there was this wall, like this rocks, and you had to walk on this ledge like this with your back to the ledge, just shuffling along this little tiny ledge. But if you stepped off that ledge, you were in the water. So we were all like that, oh my God, oh my God, don't get wet, don't get wet. <laughs> it was amazing. And then at the end, they said, close your eyes and put your hand out. I mean, it was dark, it was pitch black, we couldn't see. So we were all like this, okay. And I was trying to peek, but I couldn't see. So I don't know what was in my hand. And he's like, okay. Now, you've got three seconds to eat what I've just put in your hand and then push the button that's in front of you. So I was like, oh my God, what is this? What have they just given me? I was like, oh my God, I have no idea what, what. And they do check at the start. They do ask, are you allergic to nuts, dairy, anything like that? So in my head, I was thinking, if they're asking that, it's gotta be something that you can't eat. So I thought, this is gonna be all right. They wouldn't give us something poisonous or anything. So I literally just put it in my mouth. It was really crunchy and I was like, what is this and it tasted a little bit like it had like a nutty taste with i want to say you know where you get like a multivitamin and it's got that really horrible <laughs> i can't explain it this really like horrible aftertaste like this irony i can't explain it i'm sorry i probably look like a squirrel right now doing that but anyway it was crunchy it tasted like a nutty irony sort of taste um it left this horrible aftertaste in the back of your throat and i was like oh what have i just eaten and then i pushed my button other people pushed their buttons and then they put took us outside and showed us in the light what we we had just eaten and there was these 
little dried out worms. I, I ate worms, guys. Real <laughs> dried out worms. I was there like, are you joking? Did I actually just eat that or did you just give me some like crisps or something that tasted weird? And they're they like, seriously, you can eat these. They are 100% legit. You have just eaten worms. I was like, oh, why, why? Why have you done this to me? So I eat worms, guys. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't. I couldn't see that because I would not have ate that. Or maybe I would have. Would I have? I don't know. I think I would have tried to push myself. But if I'd saw them, because I've got a little bit of a fear of worms and maggots, and I think if I saw them, I would have freaked out and fun. But yeah, that was fun. And then as you saw, we had the assault course. And then after the assault course, um, we had the eye fly. Oh my God, the eye fly was incredible. I was terrified. I was physically shaking before I went in because I was so scared because I didn't know what was gonna happen. I thought that I was gonna be standing on the net and you could see this drop below the net. And I was like, this is freaking me out because I'm scared of heights as well. So it was really freaking me out. I almost pulled out and didn't do it. I was like, guys, I don't think I can do this. I'm really nervous. Oh, it was scary. But do you know what I thought? Do you know what? I am here once. I'm not gonna get this opportunity to do this ever again. So I'm gonna push myself and I'm gonna do it. And if I don't like it, and at least I know I don't like it. So I thought, okay. So then when we stepped in, I just thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna drop. And it's really strange because I thought about this afterwards and I wasn't thinking about it at the time. I just went, okay, I'm here. Do. <laughs> and I was in there. I was flying. It was amazing. I just, it was so good and you know what it was the best feeling i have ever experienced it was amazing i was so happy i did it i was so proud of myself when i came out and i was like yes i did it i pushed myself it was such an experience i can't put into words how amazing it was to feel like you're flying it was incredible it was the best thing ever and i was just there and it was really really strange it was really surreal and it was amazing. So at the end, we had to go outside on these high ropes. And I thought, this will be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Until I got to the top. And we got onto the, there's like four or five levels, I think. So on the first level, there was this like, it was like a, a bridge that sort of sw swings, but you had ropes to hold onto. And there's just a free drop below and you're hooked on you've got this wire you're hooked on it's a bit like i'm a celebrity if you watch i'm a celebrity and they do these high things where they're hooked onto the rope so if they drop they're safe but you don't feel safe they don't tell you this they you don't feel safe i felt like i was gonna die so i was walking across this rickety thing so i thought i'm gonna have to do it because I've, I'm here now, I can't look like a fool, I'm gonna have to just push myself. So I walked across this bridge and I was like, oh my God, don't look down, don't look down, ah, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. So then I just, I went across it, I got to the end, I went to go over the next bit, but there was no ropes, there was nothing to hold on. And then there was just this, um, this little like tight rope and there's just this rope to walk on, but there's nothing to hold on to and I was like, not a chance, not on your Nelly am I going over there to, to my death, to fall and be dead forever, not a chance. And it was literally making me so nervous. I was having heart palpitations. I was like, oh, literally cannot do this. I cannot do this. And there was a woman there, um, one of like the instructor sort of people that works there. And she was like, you don't have to do it, don't worry. And then she showed me there was another one to go over which had the little things to hold onto. I was like, that's fine, I can do that one. That was just a rope as well, but there was ropes at the side that you could hold onto and that, that just made me feel so safe. So I went across that one, that was nerve wracking, but it was okay because I had something to hold onto. But that thought of walking in the air, so high up, I don't even know how high up that thing is, so high up, nothing to hold onto and trying to balance on a beam in the air. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. But I did what I could on the first floor and the, I went up to the second level as well and I did one little bit because again there was stuff to hold on to so I went over that bit I looked around again there was literally nothing else like that everything else was freestyle you just walk and you don't hold on so I was like I'm not gonna do anything else and then I tried to look above to see if there was anything else I could do but there was literally nothing I didn't feel safe I felt nervous I was having mild heart palpitations just thinking about it I was watching the other guys the other guys did amazing Martha was fantastic she was up at the top on the fifth level she was doing all this stuff she was just running across and I was like Martha you're making me nervous watching you stop it she was a pro at that it was amazing she had no fear she smashed it she was amazing meanwhile I got to the second top and I was like 
just gonna go down now so I literally just took the stairs and walked down because I was so scared and I waited at the bottom for the the other two to come down and it was freezing as well the temperature had dropped so it was really cold which didn't help the fear but do you know what I'm proud of myself I pushed my fears and I did it and I think that's a message to everyone from me and to, from Bear Grylls because Bear Grylls is a legend push through your fears guys if you've got a fear if you don't want to do something do you know what push through it and you'll feel so proud afterwards for what you've done and what you've accomplished and it's just the best advice that I've discovered today and do you know what the Bear Grylls adventure thing was amazing and I did not expect it to be how it was because I just thought it was a physical thing I didn't think about eating things I didn't think about being blindfolded and having to walk through the dark like that really messes with your head psychologically so it's testing your psychological abilities it's testing your strength and your physical abilities it's just it's amazing it is well worth going there's also a dive tank there so if you want to do diving you can add that to one of the packages as well and the diving tank there's sharks there's stingrays it looks amazing i'm debating whether to go back and do the diving experience because i really 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 want to do it and it looks amazing but we'll see we'll see whether that's possible or not i don't know because it is a bit pricey but one day it's amazing but yeah so if you're thinking about bear grills adventure go get yourself there it's been amazing and you will not regret it and go and push yourself face them fears do it